Today, we embark on a journey to ancient Egypt, all end steeped in mystery and wonder. From the pyramids to the pharaohs, the Egyptians left a lasting legacy that continues to captivate and intrigue us to this day. In this video, we will be focusing on one of the most intriguing aspects of ancient Egyptian culture. Their elaborate burial rituals, from mummification to the weighing of the heart, we will discover the beliefs and practices that surrounded death and the afterlife in this fascinating civilization. Funeral rites in ancient Egypt were an important part of the culture, centered around the belief in life after death. The preservation of the body, through mummification, was crucial in ensuring the deceased would be able to reach the afterlife. The body was typically placed in a sarcophagus, accompanied by various offerings and burial goods. Funerary ceremonies were elaborate and included the recitation of spells, performances of music and dance, and the procession of the deceased to the tomb. The ancient Egyptians believed that the death of a pharaoh was particularly significant, and the pharaoh's funeral would involve many days of mourning and elaborate rituals. Overall, funeral rites in ancient Egypt reflected the deep religious beliefs and the importance placed on the afterlife in the culture. Ancient Egyptian religion was a complex and deeply held belief system that played a central role in shaping many aspects of Egyptian society. The ancient Egyptians believed in multiple gods, who were believed to control various aspects of nature and the universe. The gods were often depicted in the form of human or animal figures and were worshipped through various rituals and offerings. One of the defining features of ancient Egyptian religion was its emphasis on the afterlife. The belief in life after death was deeply ingrained in the culture and was tied to the belief that the soul, or ka, would continue to exist in the afterlife. This belief was reflected in many aspects of daily life, including the preservation of the body through mummification, the construction of elaborate tombs, and the performance of funerary ceremonies. The afterlife was depicted as a mirror image of life on earth, with the soul needing to parse various tests and trials in order to reach the ultimate goal of eternal life. The gods were believed to play a central role in determining the fate of the soul in the afterlife, and the deceased were often depicted making offerings to the gods in tomb paintings and sculptures. The ancient Egyptians believed that after death, the soul of the deceased would face judgment in the afterlife. This judgment was based on the belief that a person's heart, which was considered the source of a person's personality and emotions, would be weighed against the feather of Mat, the goddess of truth and justice. The heart was considered the most important organ and was not removed during mummification like other internal organs. It was believed that if the heart was heavy with seen, the soul would be denied entry into the afterlife and would be devoured by the demon Amit. The feather of Mat represented truth and balance and the heart was weighed against it to determine whether the deceased had lived a virtuous life and acted in accordance with the principles of Matt. The judgment was recorded by the god Thoth, and the verdict was final, with no possibility of appeal. Mummification was a central aspect of ancient Egyptian funeral rites and was believed to play a crucial role in ensuring a successful journey to the afterlife. The process of mummification involved preserving the body through a series of carefully controlled steps, including the removal of internal organs, the use of embalming materials, and the wrapping of the body in linen bandages. According to ancient Egyptian beliefs, the preservation of the body was necessary because the soul, or ka, would continue to exist in the afterlife and needed the physical body to provide a dwelling place. By preserving the body, 
The ancient Egyptians believed they could ensure that the soul would be able to make the journey to the afterlife and be reunited with the body. The process of mummification was a complex and highly ritualized process that involved a series of steps to preserve the body for the afterlife. The process typically took 70 days to complete and was performed by specialized priests known as embalmers. The first step of the mummification process was the removal of the internal organs. The brain was usually discarded, while the heart, which was considered the seat of the soul and personality, was left in place. The other organs were removed and stored in special containers known as canopic jars. The removal of the organs was thought to purify the body and reduce its weight, making it easier for the soul to move on to the afterlife. Once the organs were removed, the body was treated with a mixture of chemicals, including natrin, which dried out the body and prevented decay. The body was then wrapped in linen bandages, which were covered with resin to hold them in place. The wrapping of the body was an intricate process that involved many layers of bandages and was thought to have symbolic significance. The use of embalming materials was also an important part of the mummification process. These materials, including resins, spices, and oils, were believed to have purifying and protective properties. The materials were applied to the body and the bandages, both to protect the body from decay and to impart a sweet aroma that was thought to be pleasing to the gods. The final step of the mummification process involved the placement of the body in a sarcophagus, which was placed in the tomb along with various offerings, including food, drink, and furniture. These offerings were believed to sustain the soul in the afterlife and help ensure a successful journey. The construction and decoration of tombs in ancient Egypt were an important aspect of the belief in the afterlife. Tombs were typically built underground and were designed to provide a secure and permanent dwelling place for the soul of the deceased in the afterlife. The central feature of most tombs was the sarcophagus, which was a coffin-like container designed to hold the mummified body of the deceased. Sarcophagi were typically made of stone or wood and were decorated with intricate carvings and inscriptions that depicted the deceased and various scenes from daily life. In addition to the sarcophagus, tombs were often filled with a variety of offerings and decorations that were meant to help guide the soul on its journey in the afterlife. These offerings included food, drink, jewelry, furniture, and other items that were believed to sustain the soul and provide comfort in the afterlife. The walls of tombs were also often decorated with paintings and inscriptions that depicted various scenes from daily life and religious rituals, including offerings to the gods and scenes from the afterlife. These decorations were not only meant to commemorate the life of the deceased, but were also thought to provide guidance for the soul on its journey in the afterlife. Funerary ceremonies played a significant role in ancient Egyptian religion and the belief in the afterlife. These ceremonies were typically performed in the presence of the deceased's family and friends and were meant to ensure a successful journey for the soul to the afterlife. One of the key elements of funerary ceremonies was the recitation of spells from the Book of the Dead, which was a collection of spells and incantations that were believed to help guide the soul through the afterlife. The spells from the Book of the Dead covered a range of topics, from protection from danger to guidance in navigating the afterlife. They were believed to be essential in ensuring a safe and successful journey for the soul. Funerary ceremonies also involved offerings of food, drink, and other items to the gods, which were meant to sustain the soul in the afterlife. The mourning and funeral rituals for pharaohs and members of the royal family in ancient Egypt were elaborate and elaborate events that reflected the high status and importance of these individuals. During the initial period of mourning, 
The body of the deceased pharaoh or royal family member would be displayed in a special room where it would be surrounded by offerings and mourned by members of the court and the general population. This period of mourning would typically last several weeks. After the initial period of mourning, the body would undergo the process of mummification. This process was considered so important that it was often performed by specialized priests and was accompanied by prayers and spells from the Book of the Dead. Once the body had been mummified, the construction of the tomb would begin. For pharaohs and members of the royal family, these tombs were typically much more elaborate and grand than those of other individuals and would often feature several chambers and passages filled with offerings and decorations. The decoration of these tombs was meant to provide guidance for the soul in the afterlife and to ensure a successful journey. Tutankhamun was a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty and his tomb was discovered in the Valley of the Kings in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter. The tomb contained a wealth of treasures and is considered one of the most significant archaeological finds of all time. The tomb of Tutankhamun contained a wealth of treasures, including a solid gold mask that covered the pharaoh's face and was placed over his head in the coffin. The mask was adorned with semi-precious stones and intricate details. The tomb contained a large collection of jewelry, including necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and rings, all made of gold and decorated with precious stones. Furniture including a throne, a bed, and several chairs, all made of wood and inlaid with gold and precious stones. Canopic jars in Tutankhamun's tomb were made of alabaster and were decorated with the likenesses of the pharaoh's four sons, who were believed to protect the organs. Shabdi figurines were small statuettes made of wood or stone that were placed in tombs to help the pharaoh in the afterlife. Several weapons were found in the tomb, including swords, daggers, and bows, as well as two chariots that were covered in gold and adorned with precious stones. These treasures provide a unique insight into the wealth and opulence of ancient Egyptian society and the importance placed on ensuring a successful journey for the soul beyond death. The Great Pyramids of Giza were built to serve as the final resting place for pharaohs of the Fourth Dynasty, including Khufu, Khafre, and Menkaur. The pyramids were also accompanied by smaller satellite pyramids for the queens and other members of the royal family. The Valley of the Kings was a major burial site for pharaohs of the New Kingdom period and is located on the west bank of the Nile River in Luxor. Many pharaohs were buried in this valley, including Thutmasai, Hatshepsut, the tomb of Seti I, a pharaoh of the 19th dynasty, and his tomb, located in the Valley of the Kings, is considered one of the most beautiful and well-preserved tombs in the valley. The tomb is renowned for its intricate and detailed reliefs and paintings, which depict scenes from Seti's life and the afterlife. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more amazing content.